Well, season's greetings. We still uh, working with the old Christmas spirit there? Well, hang on to it as long as you can, I always say. Mind if I join you? Not at all. Sit down. We were just talking about Duke. How is it? The judge is pressing for his decision on turning state's evidence. His patience is wearing a trifle thin. I see. Has he made up his mind? He's not going to do it. But we're still working on it. Listen, Robert, before I go to the hospital, I'd like to talk to you about Ted's murder, if you don't mind. Sure, how's it going? Well, everything seems to point towards one particular suspect, but I don't have enough evidence to make an arrest right now. You'll find it. I hope so. I know so. Andrew and I have a lot of faith in you. You know you wouldn't let us down. <laughs> Will you listen to this guy? Would I ever let you and Anna down? Hello. Hello. Do you know that there are 364 days till Christmas? Wonderful. I thought you'd be pleased with that bit of news. Well, you know, by next Christmas I'll be in prison. So our holiday is over. We're going to stop pretending, Anna. The reality is I'm going to jail and there really is no other way. There is a way and you know it. We've already been through this many times. I am not turning state's evidence. I will not put you or Robin in jeopardy. It's not your decision. But you realize that I'm giving you permission to tell all you know. And if I talk, you'll both be killed. Being without you is killing me, Duke. At least make the decision that keeps us all together. No, I won't be responsible for putting either of you in danger. I could never do that. Never. Well, it's covered for me. <sighs> Leaving? Yeah. I gotta go see if the judge ha what time the judge has open to hear Duke's decision, and then I have to go get Duke's decision. Well, good luck. Looks like I'm gonna need it. I'll see ya. See ya. Jake. So is there any chance of Duke changing his mind? I doubt it. Damn. It's gotta be rough on Anna. Is there anything I can do? Well, I figure you've got enough on your plate with a Himes murder. That I do. Don't you realize how important you are to Robin and me? Don't you realize? I can't put you in the line of fire, Anna. The police will protect us. Now don't be naive. A hitman got into this room with one of your guards standing well, outside then we'll the door. Well, have guards brought in here. Is that the way you want Robin to live the rest of her life? With a guard taking her to school, a guard taking her to the playground, and out on dates? Oh, come on, don't exaggerate. These men are going to forget about you before long, and then we'll be able to live our lives normally. I am a traitor. They'll kill me, either now, in five years, or ten years from now, as an example. If they forget about me, it will encourage other people to turn, to turn evidence against them. Oh. And they cannot allow that. Well, then we'll go somewhere else. We'll go to another country. We'll hide. We'll change our names. You're talking about the witness protection program. Yes, yes, I am. And what about Robin? I'm going to ask Robert to take her to Australia with him. Oh, Anna, I will not be the cause of you being separated from your child. She's going to be with Robert. Don't you see? I'm damned if I do, and I'm damned if I don't. We might be together, but you will not forget that you cannot see your child. I couldn't live like that. I know. I know I can't send her away forever. You know, I've thought about nothing else but this day and night. I cannot turn state's evidence. I'm not going to argue with you. But I don't agree with your decision. I'm afraid you have to. No! I'm not giving in. I'm not a piece of china that you can hang on the mantel shelf. One way or another, we are going to be together. Anna left here saying she was determined to do something to keep me from going to prison. She's a resourceful woman. I wouldn't put it past her. Yeah, I'm just concerned in case she does something rash. She really has worked herself into quite a state about Duke, it. I take it by the way you're talking that you haven't changed your mind about turning state's evidence. No, I can't, Jake. And I really am not being stubborn about this, but Anna and Robin's lives are at stake. Just so you know, I spoke to the judge today. He said that he wants your testimony by tomorrow. Or else. Or else what? We have an expression here. Perhaps you've heard it. It's called throwing the book at you. No, no lectures, please. I have to, Duke. I'm your lawyer. Look, 
Forget about Anna and Robin for just a minute. I can't. Just forget about them for a minute. Do you know what would happen if every, every potential state's witness decided not to testify for whatever reason? To guard their own health, to guard their family's health? It tears the rug out right from under the court system, Duke, and those bums win. Do you think I don't know that? My answer is still the same. All right, you've obviously made up your mind. I'll have to respect that. I appreciate that, thank you. How's your health? It's pretty good, thank you. Good, because it's gonna have to be. You're expected to do your time and come out of it alive. The way that judge is talking, he's gonna throw the book at you, Duke. And I know that judge, he'll do it. for any phone numbers in particular? Uh-huh. Hmm. Well, you know, maybe if you tell me which ones they are, I could help you look them up, huh? Uh, no, thank you. I've got this all under control. Hi, Anna. Oh, hello, Bryce. How are you? Are you okay? Yes, I'm great. Thank well, if you'd asked me a little while ago, I'd have said no, I wasn't, but I'm very well. Good, then I'll take all the credit. <laughs> you always make me feel well, but actually, I hate to disappoint you, but see, I just come solution for a very difficult problem and that's why I feel so happy. Well, good for you. Does the problem have to do with Duke? Yes, it does. All right. You know if I can help you in any way, you can count on me. I know that. All right. Thank you. <laughs> well, they just sent the x-rays to Mr. Oh, looking. thank you very much. Hello, I'll see you later. Hello, Robert. Oh, Robert, good. Listen, I've come to a decision. We've got to talk. Let's go and sit on the lounge. Well, we seem to have a spring in our step. What's happened? Well, it's amazing what a good idea will do for one's psyche. What are you talking about? I don't know what your plans are, but I would like you to change them for me. What plans? I want you to take Robin back to Australia with you, just for a short while. I don't think I like the sound of this. Why? I'm trying to save Duke from going to prison. How? All right, now look. Here is a list of the local media. Now, I'm calling a press conference. What are you going to tell them? A lie. See, I'm going to announce that I know all the activities that went on on Sister Island, and that I will be the state star witness. It's about the looniest notion I've ever heard. It's not. It's brilliant. It's... It's going to take the heat off Duke and put it on me, and I can handle it. It's loony, and so are you. Now, I always suspected it, but now I have proof. It's going to work. I'm surprised you would even consider a harebrained scheme like this. Now, I'm warning you, don't do it. What's the matter with the men in my life? You and Duke, you're always telling me what to do. I know what I'm doing. Listen, give me a few more days. I'm working on an investigation which is going to uncover something that the mob don't want exposed. After that, I've got leverage on them. Well, what if you don't find out? Well, at least give me the time to try. There is no time, don't you understand? The judge has called it in for tomorrow, the Duke. Excuse me, Anna. Um, Frisco just called and he said he had some urgent business that he had to see you about right away. Um, tell him I'll meet him here. Can I use Steve's office? Would that be all right? Yeah, I think it will be. Sure. Thank you. I'm telling you, reconsider this, Anna. I'm sorry. My mind is made up. Buzz had an argument with Ted Holmes. Well, I just saw him a while ago. Why didn't he tell me? Maybe he's waiting for the investigating officer to talk with him. No, no. No, he knows better than that. Or he didn't think it was important? Well, yes. I mean... Anybody should realize that, that if you have a major falling out with a murder victim, that it's important information. I know that. He's a friend, Anne. I'm looking on the bright side. The only other possibility is that he's keeping something from us. Yeah. I thought so, too. Why wouldn't he tell us? Does he think we're not going to find out? I don't know. Do you want me to assign another detective to talk to him? No. No, I can handle it. I've learned some time to separate friendship from business, right? Even in a murder. Hmm. You never learn how to do that fully. You get better at it. 
but you never learn how to do it. I was afraid you'd say that. All right, you speak to Buzz, and you get his side of the story. There has to be a reasonable explanation for what Lucy overheard. I'll speak to you later. Okay. conference. Yes, she's even called the New York Times. It's like she's signing her own death warrant. I keep thinking this whole thing's a rather hideous practical joke, except for the fact that I know she's deadly serious. Well, can't you do something to stop her? Oh, I've tried that. Maybe you haven't met the unstoppable Anna Devane. Once upon a time, it was a quality I found sort of exciting. Now I'm not too sure. Do you really think she'll do it? Yeah. She means business. She's asked me to take Robin to Australia for safekeeping. It's a catch-22 situation. Whatever happens, Anna's in danger and I'm helpless to do anything to help her. She'll well, be killed. We've got to come up with some other options. What about your organization, the WSB? What about it? I'll have them place her under some kind of protection until my trial's over. <laughs> they never go for it. You see, they regard this as a, uh, a personal matter. Good Lord, man, all of life is a personal matter. Look, I know them. They turn us down flat. Now, why don't you do something? Why don't you kidnap or take her off somewhere? For how long? As soon as I release her, she goes straight to the press. No, no, no. We've got to come up with some way to stop her from making this statement, ever. When is she planning to do it? Today, in the boardroom. We have between now and then to think of something. Yes. In the general hospital boardroom in about half an hour. Tell them that Chief Anna Devane has some very important announcements to make. Well, I suggest that you hold page one open until then. I'm glad I cut up. You realize what you're doing? Did Duke tell you? Yes, he did. Well, maybe you can talk some sense into it, because I can't. Did you think this through thoroughly? Yes, I have, completely. And you're satisfied that you can deal with the consequences? We have to meet Duke's deadline with the judge tomorrow. Maybe she's right, Robert. Maybe this is her only way out. You're both crazy. Robert, we've got to trust her. She's a good cop, an ex-WSB agent. She can handle it. Oh, at last. Nobody that can see my point of view. She's making herself into a perfect target. Come on. We've given her the responsibility of, of taking care of the safety of the entire city. We've got to believe that she can handle taking care of herself. This is absolutely ridiculous. Thank you so much, Jake. It's a real gone crazy. And thank you, Robert. I know you're probably worried about the whole thing. Well, I must admit I'm a trifle concerned myself, but I can handle it. And it would help me if I had your support. However, I will go ahead without it. Well, the gang's all here. You might as well go for it. Thanks. Excuse me. Could I have your attention, please? Oh, oh yes. I don't know about the mark. Now, um, I'm going to make a brief statement, and then I will answer <coughs> any questions that you may have. I'm sure plenty of rumors have filtered down to all the press rooms everywhere, and yeah. that is that we have a very important state's witness who is going to testify against the mob. At this moment, we are not prepared to release a statement with the identity of the witness. Well, when are you willing to give this to okay, us? Okay, well, you think the uh, witness is going to be Duke Lavery? Is that true? That's what we've heard. I have no comment. Uh, has Mr. Lavery been cooperating with the police? In so far as telling us about his involvement with the mob, yes, he has. But I would like to continue with my statement, and that is that we have another important state's witness whose testimony could rock the very foundations of the mob here in Port Charles. Now, this person is in a unique position that they have detailed information about the syndicate and how they built an empire here. Is this someone from Port Charles? The witness that... Lavery. Ah, I knew it. How about a story on yeah. this, Miss Lavery? On Lavery. How deep I've is come yours? to say I've decided to become a state's witness against the organization. Great, great. Uh, how about some testimony? Any testimony indicating the mob or the... Well, ladies and gentlemen, please. All right, everybody, please. What Take a seat and we'll answer your please. questions please. one at a time. Now. Okay. What do you think you're doing? If you'd ask me the same thing, you know. Now, before we get going, I'd like to introduce you to Mr. Jake Meyer, who'll be handling Mr. Lavery's defense. Jake? Thank you. I think we've all met before. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you heard, Mr. Lavery will be turning state's evidence. He will reveal any and all information he has on the crime syndicate. Such as what? I'm sure you know revelations of that kind would be a bit premature at this time. The public does have a right to know, Mr. Yeah, Lavery. They will, yeah. all in good time. Now, look, as you can see, Mr. Lavery is recovering from major surgery. I Jake, think if this... you... If you don't mind, there is something that I would like to say. You don't have to. No, but I think these people deserve to know what's going on in their town. During my association with the underworld, I have learned how they infiltrate legitimate businesses throughout the world. And here in Port Charles, I've learned how the underworld is structured and how they are organized. I know every skeleton they have rattling around in their closet. And I intend to reveal this information to the police department. Well, what are you going to reveal something to us? Yeah, yeah, we want something right in the right right now. Now. Most important up. is the control they exercise in union activities. Here Thank you, Duke. Thank you. I'm, I'm sure, sure you can realize that he can't reveal any more specifics in the case until he reveals them to the judge first. Uh, Chief Devane and I will be more than happy to uh, give you any updates as the case progresses. Thank you all Thank you very much for coming here today. And, uh, gentlemen, will you show the press to the phone so they can get their stories through? Why did you do that? To stop you from getting yourself killed. I can take care of myself, do you? Do you think I was going to allow you to put yourself or Robin in any danger for the likes of me? You mean the likes of you? I love you. I know that. I love you, too. I know who I am. And I know what I've done. And the weight has to rest on my shoulders. Well, now the fun begins. You certainly know how to turn the fire on yourself. I had to take the threat away from Anna and Robin. Well, we're not taking any more chances at this stage. We'll be organizing more protection for them. Do you think the judge will give Duke a suspended sentence because of his testimony? Well, that's hard to say, Anna, but I'll do my best to get it out of him. Okay. Excuse me, Mr. Lavery. Gentlemen, I, uh... You heard Mr. Lavery's announcement. That means he now has to be protected to the fullest possible capacity. And that means you. And jobs are on the line if there's a breakdown. Is that understood? Mm. Thank you. We'll take you back to your room. Come on. Thank you both. I hope he knows what he's in for. Probably not. Can a man be rational when he's in love? Yeah. I just hope that love doesn't get out of killed. Where's Anna? She's using the phone in Dr. Hardy's office. Well, I hope she's calling headquarters. Yeah, she's getting extra protection for the entrances and the exits of the hospital. OK. That's good. Now that you've thrown down the gauntlet, the mob will be forced to act. Well, no self-respecting criminal wants to lose face. I'm glad you can joke about this. I mean, I'm the one that has to figure out a way to protect Anna and Robin. I'm not taking this lightly. I have a plan to help do just that. Oh. What is it? I have a few loose ends to tie up first. I hope it's a little better than that tactic he used on Frisco and Felicia. Believe me, Robert, I'm sure my plan will work. Well, that's not good enough. I need proof before I start playing about with Anna and Robin's safety. Thank you. There you are. I've been looking for you everywhere. I've got more protection for Robin. Mm -hmm. What about you? Well, I'm, there's a car and a driver coming to pick me up shortly, and I'll be going home. All right, just make sure you vary your schedules, change routes, routines, all of the above. I will. I've thought of everything. Perhaps you have, in which case I shall go home and see my daughter. See you later. Mm -hmm. Bye. such mixed feelings about what you've done, you know. I'm very proud of you, and I love you for it. But I'm terribly worried. I'm not worried. I know you'll protect me. I will. 
Yes, I'll protect you. I'll keep you safe and sound so we can spend the rest of our lives together. I pray to God you're right.